welcome back to the channel everybody and today I'm going to show you how to make uh, moth rings out of western red cedar. So these are designed to um, sit in drawers and wardrobes and uh, things like that to basically protect clothing from moth attacks. Uh, so I've got a couple of pieces of red cedar here. Um, and I'm going to create, with one of them I'm going to create circles, so I'm just going to create strips or squares basically. So what I have here, I've got a 44mm hole saw in the drill and I've got a piece of 12mm pine that I've already drilled a hole in and I've actually left the, the cut out in there and hopefully we can, when we go to drill this, we're going to drill it from one side and then from the other side and the idea is so that the pieces don't get stuck in here so we don't need to take them out every time. So I'm just going to go over to the vise and we can start again. Okay, so each time I'm just checking that the drill bit has protruded through the other side so that we can continue the cut from that direction. And then all we do is turn this piece around once we can get the vise open. Turn it round. And just and out it comes. Okay, so now I'm going to take these over to the disc sander, and I'm going to get a tapered, something tapered like a file. Push it into here to hold it, and I'm going to very lightly sand this on the sander. So we'll just go over to the sander. Okay, I've not been able to find a round file, so I'm just going to take a bit of a dowel rod and I'm going to sand it down a wee bit, sand it to a taper and get it to fit in here so I can hold these. So, I'm just going to sand it. Something, something like that. So the edges are nice and smooth. And I'll just do another uh, six or seven now. Okay, so I've got all the round ones sanded. Uh, they need to still be sanded on these two faces. Uh, but just just now, before I start that sanding, I'm going to cut the other piece, which is going to be the square pieces, and I'm just going to cut get as many thirty millimeter strips out it as I can. So do that. Okay so now it's just a case of sanding all the edges. It doesn't need much sanding, it's just to bring out the scent really. Um, you can smell it, it's very strong. Okay, so they're now ready for use. Um, and as I say, all you do is put them in a wardrobe or chest of drawers or anything at all. Um, this having the hole in it could also go into a coat hanger. Um, so you can slide it onto the coat hanger and make it. Uh, you could have one on every single coat hanger. Um, cedar is quite an expensive timber and 
probably most people don't have much of it lying about but if you were to invest in a couple of pieces of cedar this doesn't take very long to do at all um, as you can see it's very simple you're just drilling holes and then sanding it all up to bring out the scent uh, or, or indeed just just cutting long rectangular strips um, so I hope you found that interesting and useful thanks for watching